Welcome back to the channel guys, my name is Amit and in today's video we are in New York City and I'm going to talk about my 5 month update of the hair transplant that I got from Turkey. Welcome back again guys to another monthly update of the hair transplant that I got from Turkey. If you don't already know, I got two hair transplants from Istanbul, Turkey from Vera Clinic. The first time I went back and I got a hair transplant for my hairline and my mid scalp. And the second time I went back was to complete my crown. I went to Vera Clinic in Istanbul, Turkey and I got 6,100 grafts extracted for the first time. And then the second time I went back, I got 4,000 grafts extracted from my donate area and placed onto my crown. Now, obviously that sounds like a lot, 10,000 grafts. I made a whole video about talking about exactly what they did and how they did it. And even my feedback about the clinic that I went to. Definitely check that video out if you haven't already on the channel. If you are new to hair transplants and you're wondering whether you should be getting one, definitely check out some of the videos that I have. And of course, if you've already gotten one, you can also check out a lot of the videos that they would be very useful to you as well. And don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, if you just wanna watch me grow a full head of hair. So much has happened in this past month in regards to my own personal life, but also to my hair. I did recently just get engaged. It's been pretty hectic ever since. I proposed to my now fiance in London, UK, and I've just been traveling around meeting family and doing a lot of budget other stuff. There's just, there's just a lot going on. But amongst all of that, the main thing, of course, is my hair is what you guys want to see. And in all honesty, my five month updates it's pretty insane. So let's talk about that update. My last monthly video, if you guys saw that, you definitely saw that I was kind of doubting the entirety of the hair transplant because I was worried, you know, it looked like it wasn't growing as much as I would have liked it to. And I was a little concerned that maybe this hair transplant was a fail. But in all honesty, looking at how much it's been growing since the fourth month, I think it's going to shock you because it definitely shocked me. I now definitely see a lot of hair sprouting out. So the hair actually has been growing and it's been shocking to me because again, I was at a stage last month thinking that maybe this is not happening at all and it's going really, really slowly. And I was a little worried, not going to lie. But like I've always been saying in most of my videos, got to trust that process. And in all honesty, trusting the process has helped significantly as well as the aftercare that I've been using. I think that's helped boost the hairs on my head to push out even further and more and now you can see it clearly shows that the hair is growing and covering up my crown i'm super excited to see how far much more it's going to grow it's only the fifth month still a couple more months to go and once i hit that six seven eighth month i can't wait to see how much more coverage i actually get all right so now this is the part of the video where i show you the 360 view of my hairline my mid scalp my crown as well as my donor area and how it's shaping up after five months as every other month we begin with the hairline there has been small growth from the 200 grafts I've added this time around, and I'm pretty happy with it. On the first side of my donut area, because I'm keeping my hair out long, I do not see any scars from the sides, and it's not patchy at all. For the back, same thing, the donut area is not patchy, and you can see from the crown here that the growth is getting more compared to the previous month. And lastly, the other side of my donut area has no visible patches and is growing well. And now we're going to jump right into these close-ups of the hairline and the mid scalp, as well as the crown. For my hairline, as mentioned before, I did add 200 grafts at the front, and it seems like those have grown in so much, as my hairline looks fantastic now. As for my mid scalp, I added 600 grafts, and it has filled in very well. I see a lot of good coverage and density added compared to the last time. For the crown, also as previously mentioned, the hair is slowly starting to sprout and it's just a matter of time before I get even more coverage. A lot has been growing and it, I'm really excited. Even the top of my head now, mid scalp and the hairline, it just it seems to be even more enhanced than it was before. And I'm really, really enjoying my hair right now. I'm not gonna lie, it's, it's going great. All right, now let's look at the monthly progress of the hair transplant that I got from the first month up until the fifth month. For month one, small hairs were growing, but it was all to fall out eventually when month two came around for of course the dreadful shedding phase. Month two to three was where I had to embrace the ugly duckling phase as well as the shock loss that had occurred. Month four most recently is where I had my doubts about the success of my transplant as I did not see much progress. But that all changed at month five when I could clearly see a more visible change in the amount of hairs on my crown. 
Let's talk about aftercare updates. To be honest, not much has changed. I know I said this as well in the last video, but to be very honest, not much really has changed. I think what has changed is my mindset towards applying it more often than usual. I make sure I try to keep in place with my schedule routine that I make sure I have my vitamins in the morning, my serums in the morning, as well as my minoxidils in the morning. It's just a process that you have to follow. But just for the sake of the video, I'll kind of repeat exactly what I use. I take a pill of finasteride every morning, about one to five milligrams, followed by applying my Growplex minoxidil as well as my GF serum on my head in every morning and the hair spray. Once that's done, I take all my vitamins from my morning routine. I made a full video about everything I do take in the morning as well as the things I apply on my head to make sure my hair is constantly growing. I also use a particular shampoo and conditioner that helps enhance growth as well, which is the DS Laboratories Revita Hair Growth Shampoo and Conditioner. I have links to everything that I use in my Amazon storefront just below as well as other affiliate links that's, that are linked below. Check them out. It really helps the channel as well grow and allows me to make better videos hopefully for you guys and encourage you guys as well to hopefully get full head of hair. Now, I did mention that I did just get engaged, which means I would have to be out and about everywhere, meeting people, going out, dressing up, which also means that I still have not the full head of hair at the back of my crown. So I'm still constantly using my fibers when I go out. But again, it's every month that goes by, I just end up using less and less and less, which is amazing to me. I would have never imagined that because I remember back in the day, I used to use at least like a quarter of a bottle every time I would have to apply it onto my head. But now I never apply anything on my hairline or my mid scalp because it's just not worth it anymore. I have enough density there. And of course, only on my crown. Again, it's not that much. It's just dabs of the fibers and I'm good. I come back at home at night, wash it off and it's all fine. It's also a process for me to be accepting that, oh, maybe I don't need this anymore in the future. I still am using it because again, truthfully, I'm still going out and meeting people. I still do feel a little conscious at times, but it does help significantly. And if you're somebody also who is wondering about how to conceal certain areas on your hair or bald spots, I have products below as well to recommend. Check them out. Might be useful for you, why not? But hey, it's useful for me and I can all I can do is recommend them. So what I finally want to say is that despite being very worried last month, I think my emotions were pretty normal in that situation because it was my first hair transplant that I went for pretty much around the same time, third or fourth month. I was pretty low with my confidence mainly because I thought, hey, it's not working. I thought I was more mentally prepared for that even now on the fourth month. But in all honesty, it does take more time as well for the crown. I am prepared for that now and I'm okay with what the result is even at the fifth month for me at my crown. It's, it's strange because right after I posted my fourth month video, my hair started to grow. And I felt like more happy and happy day by day. Every day when I checked the back of my head, it was growing a little bit more and a little bit more. At times I didn't even check it. And when I checked it back a week later, it was like, oh, there's a lot more hair there than there was last week. So, you know, anyone who has gotten a hair transplant or is going through what I did, don't worry, it will grow. Just have faith. No matter what, it will eventually grow out. Maybe not at the same timeline as me or maybe not at the same timeline as somebody else, but it will grow. So don't worry, it will be okay and just have faith. And for anyone who is still considering getting a hair transplant, I'm telling you, it changes lives. It, it changes your own perspective of life. It changes your own confidence. It changes a lot about yourself. You know, if you wanna have a conversation about thinking of getting it, maybe I can help encourage you or maybe give you reasons why you shouldn't have a conversation with me book some time below and uh, yeah, we can definitely have that conversation. All right, I think that's all I have for you guys for today. Thank you for following along my journey so far. It's been a crazy one, but I'm glad each and every one of you are checking me out and watching my hair grow together. It's such a nice feeling to have a Tosa community and I'm glad it's you guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe to these videos because they help this channel a lot. I try to make as many entertaining videos as I can and I hope you guys are enjoying it as well. Now I'm going to go and enjoy the rest of my time here in New York City. It's getting loud with a lot of helicopters flying around, but I just want to leave you with what I'm seeing right now and it's very beautiful. I'll catch you guys soon. Subscribe for more, like this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.